Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to FDL. We are playing as the Taurus. Things are going swimmingly right now. Things are going really, really darn good. Very, very happy with the way things are going. We said that we were going to be going to the Uncharted Nebula. And you know what? Ain't a word of a lie. I didn't spout a word of a lie there. We're in the Uncharted Nebula. Oh, there's so much nebula. But you know what? It's going to be... It's going to be... It's going to be a little bit slower. But hiding won't be as effective. Which is annoying. So we'll need to make sure that we progress at a fairly rapido rate. But nobody is, is really around to be taking the brunt of our quite incredible uh, combat arrangement. Intruders on board. Pretty much the worst setup that we could uh, we could have. Hmm. Let's try and open this area up, so at least we can start venting. Venting the area. Let's move you over here. Okay. You're in over here. That's not great. I don't know what sort of uh, what sort of dude is is here, but. They seem to be doing a fair amount of damage. Which is not great. Let's move away. I'd rather not take any damage on my crew. Thank you very much. Important to remember that in the last episode, we did actually sell our... Um, our our all-over-the-ship healing thing. So, a little bit annoying there, but hey-ho. Okay. We need to get out of here. They're going to try and take out the door control. That would be a major bummer if they did that. Shit. Let's do some fighting. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. And get out. Okay, well, you're going to get wrecked if you come in there, buddy. Yeah, the reason that we needed to save the door control is so that we would at least have the ability to do that. To close all of the doors. Because otherwise, otherwise we're just fucked. We simply are just uh, very, 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 very screwed. Which, I'm very, very glad that it turned out uh, that we are not. We are not indeed in trouble. You head over there, buddy. You can also head over here and charge up a little bit. Make sure that we're all on full health before proceeding, because there's no reason not to be. Um, so, hey-ho. Okay, let's prepare for the jump. Wow, the enemy really do not seem to be uh, to be even on the bloody map yet. So, holy cow, that's awesome. Uh, you jump into the middle of a plasma storm, multiple... Recently incapacitated chips from Loom in the cooldown, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Um, manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment. No. 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 While the crew is off the ship, searching through the wrecks, two hulls crash into each other, breaking the crew's tethers. You have no time to react as someone is knocked away, floating helplessly into the gaseous clouds. We got one missile and 28 scrap out of that. And we lost somebody. We lost the person that was on our shields. Fuck. That is... Very not good. That is very, very bad. Holy shit. What a way to start an episode. Uh, purchase an unknown weapon for 45 scrap. I wish I could. I wish I could. Let's ignore the ship for now, actually. Let's come back to him. Let's go. Let's Seriously, let's come back to him. I, I'm interested in coming back. So, let's head over here. See what is over in this nebula. But I want to purchase an unknown weapon. I want to do it. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what's inside. Attack the automated ship to get to the station. And we've been mind controlled. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's boot everything up. Oxygen needs to be on because otherwise we're going to be uh, in a bit of trouble. Two bars in the engine. Fantastic. There we go. You need to head over here, buddy. Now, it's a little bit annoying, the fact that, you know, we have to... Okay, there we go. Perfect. We managed to damage the mind control sufficiently enough to uh, have a little bit of success there. You are going to be on the shields. In fact, no, keep you on the doors. I actually value the doors a little bit more highly now. Which is a little bit crazy to say, but hey-ho. Not want a firebomb. We want a heavy laser. Probably want a heavy laser the shields. Ah, damn it. Just 
Just off, just off. Might as well use the Ion Blast. It'll help, uh... Oh, it would have helped with the with the shields it had it hit. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Really, uh, really just hurting those shields just a little bit more. Should hit the shields. Which will do a little bit of, uh... An ion, an ion stun, so that's kind of nice, I guess. 51 scrap is not bad. Investigate the station. Even darn better. Two missiles, which are really the currency that we need right now. Uh, drones and 23 scrap as well. So, overall, a fairly good engagement. Let's actually head right back to this dude and see what he's got to offer. Uh, oh, okay, you, you, you fucked off. You know what? Who gives a damn? Who gives a damn? Doesn't really matter. Um, I'm a bit annoyed. You jump into a sector of the nebula, beset by a plasma storm, an automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon approves to move in for fight. Engines attempt to outrun it. Despite your advanced engines, you're unable to shake them. You turn and prepare to fight. Fuck me sideways. God damn. Um, this is a real issue. This is a real, real issue. Because we're going to be in some trouble. An enemy combat drone is fucking us up. We're going to need to put two points into shields. Yeah, two points are going to have to be in shields. We're going to have to... Probably better just putting a combat drone on. And we'll have to take pretty much everything out of there. Put a heavy laser. Put the oxygen on for now. It's not a great scenario to be in, I'll be honest. But we need the two laser shields because he's going to have shenanigans as well. And we're going to have to get very lucky to not get hit by anything. So what we want to do instantly is disable one of his weapons. In fact, you know what? If we can disable both of his weapons, then that's pretty much going to secure our, uh, our security. Now, what the hell has he done? He's got two enemy combat drones? Are you shitting me? Well, that's okay. That's okay. Because it allows us to also ramp up our attack on him with a second combat drone too. So, you know, we've got two layers of shields. He's got one layer of shields. Figure, do the maths, figure out who's going to last longer. Right? I'll tell you, it's us. We've got two shields. And the fact that that is a, a beam drone, right, which is really, really essentially useless unless you can get uh, through the shields. That's great for us. That's really, really great. That's really, really good. And, you know, over time, we're just going to continually plink away at him until he's dead. Drones, very, very powerful if used in the right circumstances. Three fuel, one drone part, and uh, 48 scrap. Don't mind if I do. I'll take it. It's a good start. And uh, I will head up here and then to the store. I think, anyway. That's the plan uh, currently. All right. Great. You glance nervously out there, but there's just clouds and silence. Fucking beautiful. Wasted yet another fuel to go to another useless system. I love it when that happens. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Well, fuck me. Uh, despite the harsh conditions, a rebel scout seems to be waiting for you. Well, isn't that just bloody fantastic? I have no intel on this dude, so I'm just going to power up the double, uh, the double combat drones. I'm actually going to take the point out of engines and put it into oxygen because we're really, really freaking low on oxygen right now. His weapons don't really worry me that much, especially if we can get that little bit of extra damage on his weapons, which would be kind of nice. His evasion seems very, very high. Okay, maybe his weapons are starting to worry me a little bit more. He's doing the damage. He's doing the damage that he needs to be doing, but I'm full-on protecting myself as much as I can. Oh, and another hit. Fucking hell. You know what would be great? If we had a crew member that was specifically immune to fire, would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, we're going to have to... God damn. Um, we're doing the damage, right? But we did take a, a, a point of hull damage there. We'll have to put our uh, our med bay on for a little bit, I'm afraid. Enemy ship appears to be putting, uh, putting his FTL drive in gear. I don't care. Accept their offer. <sighs> two fuel, two missiles, and 23 drone parts. Uh, 23 scrap, even. Um, it's good. It's actually really, really good. In fact, it's good enough for me to take it. Which is saying something. Our oxygen is fine, but let me tell you something. I really, really dislike oxygen toggling. I really, really don't like it at all. I, I think it's very, very risky and uh, potentially catastrophic if you, if you forget about it. Okay. Good. We're ready to jump out of here. One point. There we go. Fantastic. Let's go to the store. We need to go to the store and then probably up to the distress, probably around to there, maybe around to there, and then to the exit. Overall, a solid but rather disappointing nebula, I think. Um, so we'll see what's we'll see what's going on here. A Hermes missile launcher. Not really super uh, super convinced that that's the right thing to do. 
an intruder drone and an anti-drone drone. Stuns combat drones that are attacking your ship. Um, I'll take it. I'll take it, alright? But it's not something that I want to use in the early game. It's something I want to use in the late game, that's for sure. Uh, an anti-ship beam drone. No, I, I don't really want to, to do that at all, I'm afraid. Uh, hacking. Hacking is something that we could actually probably make uh, full use of. Because, just think about this. We bait out a situation where people go and fix the oxygen generator, right? Then we hack it, keep the doors closed for like 10 seconds. We continually disrupt it, we firebomb it, and then we uh, stun everybody in the area. You know what? That's That sounds A-OK -okay with me. So we'll take the hacking, and anything else that we really want? Reconstructive teleport. Crew gets fully healed by teleportation. That would be really good if we had an invasive build, but we really don't have an invasive build, I'm afraid, so... Um, no, we're not going to take it. Uh, I am going to go for a hull repair, and I am actually, in fact, going to go for the backup battery, because it is super, super darn useful, and if we can take advantage of the, uh, of the, of the battery, then, you know, things are suddenly looking very, very nice indeed. So, we need to get an upgrade over here, we need to get both upgrades over here, and we need to get a shit ton more power bars to make sure that we are in a very, very good state um, for combat. So, very, very excited with that. Okay. Go down to the surface to investi investigate. You find a man living in a cave. Um, bring him back up to your ship. Oh! He seems to improve immensely upon getting back to the ship. It might take a while for him truly to be well again, but until then, he seems happy to serve as a member of the crew. No way. Charlie boy! Oh my goodness, this guy is, this guy's fucking on fire with shields. And you know what? We need a shields person. Oxygen on right now. Oh my goodness, oxygen on right now. Holy cow. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, we got lucky there. Charlie, you're amazing. S shielding, charging 30% faster. Oh man, that's that's quite simply amazing. Um, Really can't complain about that at all. I don't know why I'm looking through there, but let's power all of our systems back online like nothing ever happened. Take the health bay offline. Yeah, okay, let's let's prepare for another jump. Arr, I think we're going to go up here and then to the exit. Very, very risky, but very, very worth it, I think, if we can uh, if we can pull it off. There are a number of privately owned ship construction platforms. You find one that has a slot open for some immediate work. Inquire about their specialty. They offer to upgrade your door system in exchange for some scrap. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll take it, but only so that we don't, uh, oh wow, holy cow, so your doors actually get upgraded to like a fourth level if you have somebody in them? I did not know that. Wow, that is a major, major fail on my part, but holy cow, uh, level four doors. I was thinking, okay, so let's upgrade to level three and then we'll just move, uh, move you into the sensor area so that we've got a little bit more information uh, in terms of sensors but we're not going to need to do that because we've got fucking awesome doors now so basically nobody's ever going to be able to get through our doors which is kind of lovely all right and we're ready to do the jump to the next sector and we're going to finish up for now ladies and gentlemen thank you very very much for watching my name of course is Nobody potato we've been playing ftl fast and light and uh, until next time bye